I am Marisha Stubsky. And I'm Derek Stubsky. About 18 months ago, we found ourselves really kind of in a tough spot. So the dark moments began uh, when I left a very stable, comfortable job to, to take a chance on a buddy who was starting up the business. And it just completely got the, got the rug pulled out from underneath me. So I lost the job, lost that investment. You know, do we have enough money to pay the mortgage? Sold off a lot of uh, prideful personal belongings. This is where we started surrendering ourselves, but we can't continue to live this way. I'm, I'm running out of stuff to sell. The moment we started turning over to God, things started changing like rapidly, drastically. Kind of like you, you sit back and you go, there's too many coincidences happening for them to be coincidences. So once we started turning to God and just looking for guidance of where we were supposed to be in life, he started putting in our mind that maybe we just weren't in the right spot. And we had talked about Texas for a while. He had traveled there a couple of times for his previous employer and always loved it. And so it was a huge leap of faith, um, leaving everything that we had already built. Our journey to FOTP uh, started when we were still living in New York. I, for some reason, remember it very vividly. We we're eating lunch <laughs> on an outdoor patio and we're like, well, we're selling almost everything. We had three quarters of a moving truck full, and that was it. The only thing we had in there was our bed. So like all of our furniture was gone, tables gone. And so we're scrolling on Marketplace going, okay, when we get down there, we need to find something that we can get that looks not too beat up. And so we're scrolling through and we find a sectional that we like. And so we send the message over. And uh, so we're going back and forth, like, hey, we'll be down there in about a week or so. You know, would you hold it for us? And then she's like, do you go to church? I was like, well, we'll be looking for one. Because at this point, like our faith is completely 180 from what it was just six months prior. And she's like, you should try Fellowship of the Parks. We go to the North Lake campus. And so since you're in the area, we'd love to invite you over. And I was like, sure, random Facebook lady, go to your church. <laughs> <laughs> and so we made our way down and uh, we arrived in uh, Justin very early Saturday morning. So we did skip that first Sunday. Then the following Sunday is when we made our first uh, venture to try out FOTP. And, decided to not look anywhere else. Uh, as soon as we walked in, we we're like, this is it. We started going to service in July. And that September, they started uh, rolling out the small group gatherings and invitations. And we had talked about it. You know, we didn't really know anyone. We kept very quiet to ourselves at church. So we signed up for our, our first small group and we're still involved within that small group. And we have made tons of friends. One thing Justin said a couple weeks ago, actually, that I still think about all the time is chase God and things will happen. And that's really what happened for us was when we started to chase him, the doors just started opening up for us. I lived in New York for over, or, yeah, over 30 years of my life. And I've never felt more at home than where God put us.